YouTube, what is good? It is your boy Q Souls, and I'm back with another video. Now, for today's video, I'm gonna go to the thrift store. Actually, just one thrift store, my favorite thrift store here, because on Wednesdays they have a half off of everything. So I'm going to the Salvation Army, and then on Wednesdays they got half off. So you already know I'm there. But anyway. I'm trying to get out of here. It's early in the morning because I'm trying to beat the rain. Because if you guys haven't been watching the news or whatever, I am. We are. Tampa, Florida is on hurricane watch. Blah, 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 blah. But if you're from Florida, especially Tampa, do you already know? Hurricanes, we, we don't hear that. We, we don't take it as serious as probably as we should because it really don't be hitting like that. So I'm trying to just beat the rain at least because it do be raining a lot during these hurricane watches and all that good stuff so that's where i'm headed right now so we're gonna go ahead and head over there and i'm gonna meet y'all in the store here in the store i gotta be a little quiet because you know it's kind of a quiet type of thing but regardless as y'all see from the b-roll how big this store actually is and the amount of shirts and clothes that they actually have so for me personally i literally sit here just take like three some hours and go through every single shirt to make sure i don't miss nothing that's fire i go through every single pair of jeans i don't really do the khaki shorts like that or nothing like that but today i am because i don't really know what i'm looking for but I know when I find it, because if I find something good, I'm copying it. And like I said, the Salvation Army has 50% off every Wednesday. At least this one has 50% off, and there's no sale tax in this store. So if a shirt, $4, let me see right here. So look at it. Shirt $2.99, but for the 50% off, it's going to be $1.50. And it's actually going to be $1.50. There's like no sales tax with it there's no charge with it it's gonna be a dollar fifty so you can get a shirt for a dollar fifty that's me but right now we're gonna look around i'm gonna give y'all what i'm doing all that you know how to these vlog videos go and then we're gonna check back to see if i pick anything up so for those that have personally never thrift before it is super time consuming especially for stores like this there's just a lot of inventory per se as y'all see from the people but it's just a lot of stuff to look for and another thing is you're not guaranteed to really find anything. That's why you gotta be, you know, patient to see if anything is in here. And the thing is, you're not coming in here to find no real heaters in terms of thrift or vintage type stuff, but just some stuff that you like. However, you already know anything with America that's gonna be in every thrift store. And they probably gonna try to tax for it and everything. But you just gotta be patient. And to not make this video so long, because like I said, I gotta go through all of this. You know, I'm gonna go bit by bit. Right now, we're in the white t-shirt section. See if I can find some white shirts with graphics on it. I have none at all, so look at that awesome line to the Vikers team. Nothing crazy, but it's, you know, it's still dope. You know, they be selling up. That's an AirPods right there. For the $3 plus the half off. Can't go wrong. I mean, not my style, but I'm just saying, they got stuff for everybody in here. I, I just seen a polo shirt back down. Wait, I forgot to show it on camera, but it's all good. But that's just how y'all got to do. Y'all got to be patient. But I'm telling y'all, do not sleep on the thrift stores. Because if you want fashion for extremely less, that's where I'm at. I don't go to malls. I don't shop online. I don't do none of that stuff. Unless it's shoes, that's the only thing that I pay money for. Everything else, fashion for less, man. I'm telling you. Do not sleep, but I'm gonna head back to y'all to see if I pick up anything from here. And if not, then we just gonna head over here to all these shirts. And go through them. So I'm over here in this swim trunk section now. Swim trunk type material shorts, but they're the more colorful shorts. I like wearing colorful shorts instead of just sticking with the all blacks, especially when I put fits together. Just seen on my Instagram, I got some. Those last like second post that I just picked up, I had like some blue crazy shorts, some swim trunk type material. But I was looking and look at this right here. Bro. I've never seen this. I really like this material. I mean, I'm mean, this pattern. You know, the actual camouflage pattern. I ain't never seen them on no swimming trunk type material. And they're not even swimming trunks. Let me see. Oh, they're Russell Athletics. Look at that. And they're all. They got a string in it though. Oh my God. The cop me. This could be a good pattern to go with something. 
Yeah, these might be a cop. I don't know yet what that price is going. Oh, it's over here right now. Let me see. Dang, these four dollars is gonna be only two dollars. She. Oh my, that's a cop. He ain't got boys. Stay on the lookout for this. Maybe y'all see at the end of the video what I actually get. I ain't gonna lie. I showed it. I didn't show this when I looked down there. But one bad thing about the thrift store. I swear to God, only giant shop here. So really, I wanted, at looking at them, I wanted to get some cargoes that's like this color, this dark green color compared to something like this. All the khaki color, different shades. I wanted to like a super dark shade. The only thing is when I find something, that bit big as hell. Because only giant shop here and I don't get it. So watch this right here, because I wanted to, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Look, even some, some of these, look, look, I think these here. Wash on here, you can't really see it. It's wash of olive with the Miami Hurricanes at the bottom. I wanted these. This shit would have been only three dollars fifty cents. That been a thirty-four. I definitely don't wear thirty-four. So those are a no. It's the only bad thing when you're five foot one, like me. Look at these. These right here. I wanted these. What's up? Watch this. I already know I'm gonna be disappointed. I better. Thirty-four. I don't wear 34. It's the only thing. So when you come here, you gotta you gonna be real disappointed when you find stuff. That's just not your size and that's just the game. You know, you just gotta keep going and trying to find something else. But shh, I guess I gotta go through all these shirts now. That's it. I'll be back. This is what I be talking about. I just spent at least two and a half, two forty-five in this stove. It only got one thing. That's what I mean by hit or miss. There was a lot of stuff in there. However, me being four foot three, 97 pounds, it wouldn't fit in me. I went to go try it on the fitting room, all that good stuff. That's the thing about this thrift thing. However, we are about to go to another store, another Salvation Army, because they got 50% off today. I'm not gonna record much of that because the video probably gonna be long as hell. And I'm not trying to have a super long video, but I will head over there look through some stuff but i'm gonna see y'all when i get back to the crib and see everything that we picked up today so we are back at the crib like i said that first salvation army was a whole big nothing and i told you i was going to a different salvation army and got a whole bag of nothing again so that's the thing with going thrifting or going to a lot of thrift stores there's a lot of variables that play out a you might just not find anything that week or that day but then you just gotta keep going and maybe one day you luck up. It's really hit or miss. And then two, being my size, I'm only literally like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. So not a lot of things in there fit me. I feel like only the big people be donating their clothes. I don't know where my little people had donated. Maybe they keeping all their stuff. I don't know. So it's really hard to find sizes. So a lot of variables go into it. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes the like thrill of trying to find something. Although I did get a whole lot of nothing. There was one pickup that I did get from the thrift store which I showed you guys in video, which is these like real camouflage shorts. I've seen a lot of cargo type materials that has this pattern on it, but I've never seen shorts have it. So I was like, might as well cop it. This was only literally $2 for a pair of shorts. I paid $2, $1.99 to be exact. So I didn't even, I saved a penny, every penny count. But yeah, I seen a lot of people rock these that were paying. So I was like, maybe I can try to pull off a same type of outfit type thing. But instead of rocking it with pants, I rock it with shorts. It's the same material. I made the same pattern, so it should be just as fire. I don't know what I'm going to wear with it. I'm going to put something together. But $2, can't go wrong. Also, I wanted to show you two new vintage t-shirts that I got. Um, this was not from the Salvation Army. This is just um, something I got this past week. Um, the first t-shirt we're going to show is this right here. Got a 1973 or 1977 Disney uh, vintage shirt. It's actually a Disney original from the Disney store or Disney World, something like that. But it's from 1973. It's in great condition, oversized fit. I love all the colors that pop out of here. I had an idea of what shoes I would wear with this, but as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh no. So you know how you get that outfit that's in your head and you like, 
screenshot everything you like this gonna look fire and then when you put it on you like this is terrible so that's what really happened with this t-shirt however i am going to keep it because i like all the color schemes and i can bring out one of those colors in a future outfit maybe something like that but that is the first one. Oh, by the way i got this from the cop shop on instagram he also has a website i will link all his information below but if you go to his instagram page his website is in his bio the cop shop down here in tampa florida really fire got a lot of stuff from bake all the way to old school vintage so definitely go check him out and then my second shirt that i want to show you guys shout out to my auntie april she uh recently went on a trip to seattle to go whale watching and she found a vintage store there and caught me this shirt right here it's a seattle mariners vintage t-shirt this is from 1997 celebrating the 20th anniversary of the organization uh i really like this shirt the main reason why i like it is because it has the gray accents in it so with some shoes like the cool gray fours or the cool gray threes i'll be able to bring that out i have not worn it yet but something like that or if i so happen to get one of my actual nike grails which is the freshwater nike griffies he played for the seattle mariners y'all know that so uh that up match right here fresh waters but i don't have any of those shoes oh i had the cool gray threes cool gray fours i get to my girlfriend but regardless of the fact dope shirt shout out my auntie thank you for this so that is the three items that i wanted to show you guys today ranging from vintage to thrift but my message is do not sleep on the thrift store I'm telling you especially when some stores have like 50 percent off i know the salvation army down here in tampa florida does wednesdays 50 percent off as well as saturdays so make sure y'all go hit up y'all vintage i mean y'all thrift store get fashion for cheap if that's what you're into i'm not trying to push this on you guys everybody has their own style i just don't like spending a lot of money on clothes so yeah get what you guys want that's gonna wrap it up for this video today if you enjoyed it if you enjoyed the vlog make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel let me know down in the comment section if you want me to continue to do more of these type vlogs and with that being said before i let you guys go you know the quote you know the motto aim high spread love i'm out